Don't let me get caught. All right, Chris. <laughs> hey. Chris, the Lord, don't let me do it, but if I do My it. My mouth <laughs> is a gay. <laughs> Because I've never seen Spanish Town get so animated about a song in the studio. He, you'd think he was at Reggae Sunfest. Which is back on, by the but, way. Yeah, he was like, yeah, okay. So I guess you know where we're heading with this conversation. Would you forgive your partner for cheating? In this morning's Girl Talk, Simone and I are going to discuss the complexities hmm. of infidelity and hmm. whether... There are any circumstances in which the act of cheating may be forgiven? So, let us begin this lesson. Yes. What by is defining cheating? Defining. Yeah. What is cheating? Because why is it? Huh? Because Marvin, people already, already? believe yes. that cheating is limited to the physical yes. interaction. Yeah. But I, I'd like to add that when you have formed emotional attachments to people, um, here we see people online, on them phone, sending texts and voice notes and pictures. And you say, but after a minute, me and him never meet up yet. After a minute, it, it, or nothing, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Uh, but something did happen. We're just though. talking. Like, like in that moment, I feel like as long as it is diminishing the value of the relationship that you're in, it's cheating. Value and quality. Taking yes. time away from somebody else. Yes. Taking mental capacity away from yes. whomever you're with. Yes. Um, because, you know, there are, there are women who will tell you, and men too, that they can more easily forgive a partner who has physically cheated than a partner who has formed an emotional connection with, someone. with somebody. I don't know if that is your story. I don't know if that is... I everything want to, I want to that, on that person get a phone call. <laughs> Oh, you know, every, every, every great, everything that, every great moment is them you have to share it with first. Something happened to you and them you run to. It's always, so you're robbing your partner of that opportunity for both of you to, to walk this journey together. Um, so you have, so you Lost, have... when they lost, like somebody said, it's in my head. What, me never what is in their head? What in their Oh. The loss. Oh, in their head. Yes. Like, like our guests in your belly. Yeah. So how you get rid of that? Your belly have to guess. What are you doing? Okay. So one of the things I feel is important is that, you know, parameters of a relationship are, are very important. And so what I may think is cheating, you may not think it's cheating. And so in your head, you may not be offending me because mm -hmm. that's not cheating. Mm -hmm. That's a good conversation mm -hmm. to have. And Delia always says it. Before you enter into those gates of that relationship, the definitions, a discussion that outlines what is acceptable to you and what is acceptable to me must be had. Because if you don't enter with that common understanding, then there are going to be issues, right? Issues. Because for some folks... Understanding and acceptance. Yes. Because yes. sometimes the person very clear, you know? Yes. And say, listen, this is a relationship to me, you know? I like open relationships. And you say, oh yeah, because in your mind, you can once the person yeah, starts dating yeah, you, we're open yeah, and go. Yeah. They're not going to want to do that again. Yeah. And then they continue to do it and you say, I can't believe he did it. I can't believe she did so. He told you. She right. told you from the start that that was a plan, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, for other people, maybe a, a one-off situation they think is forgivable. Um, it only happened one time, mm. so some people, some people may, the may physicality you weren't, is all your, your faculties weren't necessarily there. Where did they go? You were probably inebriated, inebriated or something. Then they'll say, oh, well. Them say drunk people, often that's when they tell the truth, right? 
person they tell the truth, but I don't know. It would depend on how drunk you are okay. and just how much of a of a of a active participant. What that mean? Because so for example, there are women who, who have who they're so drunk. I was watching a, a movie the other day and when she she um she, when she woke up she had no recollection of what took mm -hmm, place mm -hmm. and um she in fact found herself pregnant that's and sh and so she spent the movie trying to find out who could this father be oh my god which movie that her is it's what's it called oh my god that's I remember what it's called so she her fiance had cheated on her and her friend said let's go to the club and so she was drinking her sorrows away um and so she was going from person to person and they were like no no nothing happened nothing happened until she just said, you know what, forget it. And nothing happened. And then the neighbor uh -oh. who uh -oh. saw her trying to, she tried to get into the neighbor's apartment in Arrow. And the neighbor is the person. When he mm -hmm. took her back to her, her apartment, he realized she was that drunk. But he was like, oh, you know, she, 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 she seemed to be up to it and whatever, whatever. And so I didn't like the way the movie ended because that's, that's, that man should have been arrested. Yes, that is our jail business. Right. But we but digress. She genuinely didn't. And like his cousin had to say to her, listen, you need to have a conversation with my cousin about what happened. And she's like, something happened? So she genuinely didn't. Mm -hmm. So in a case like that... Well, you blank right out. Yeah, in a case like that, you know, you'd have to ask yourself, really, if the person was not a, an active participant... Do you? Mm -hmm. Do you? Mm -hmm. so. um, <laughs> Spanish term. I right. So in, that's what I'm. I'm. I'm saying that the, in, in, to, in my mind, that's what happened to this lady because her faculties weren't there. So that man should have been arrested. But the movie didn't go that way. But um, so in that instance, I wouldn't. I. I. Some people would think so. Some people would say you get drunk and you put yourself in a position and. But, but I, I, I think that's, you'd have to be a little bit more understanding. If you watch Law and Order, you will see that that's actually some kind of statutory something. Right. I don't um, <clears throat> but people who are able to get past it, I think this is, I think cheating is something I... You would never get past. I don't know how. I don't know how, and I don't know how you forget it. Even if you forgive it, I don't know how you forget it and how you get past wondering if it will ever happen again. Because when, once that trust is rebroken, it's, it's, it's broken, it's very hard to rebuild. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if like you go through intense counseling or if mm -hmm. that can help, because I've seen couples bounce who back bounce from back from it even stronger yes. than before it happened. So yes. it can, I guess it can make relationships stronger like any other adverse situation mm -hmm. you go through, but I've seen it mash up yeah. A whole heap of others. I think I think the key is did the person who the person who cheated are they remorseful? Remorseful. Mm -hmm. Or do they regret mm -hmm. cheating? Mm -hmm. um, and then if you regret it, you understand that there are some steps you're going to have to take to rebuild that trust, and there are some steps you're going to have to take to to really make the relationship work. So I guess in that instance, people say, oh well, you know, they're remorseful. They're working on it because humans are humans and they'll make mistakes. But if you cheat and you're like, okay, I cheated. You What's know, the big deal? Get over get it. Get over it. Then. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if the remorseful people, if they're remorseful and they drop again tomorrow. No, then that, they're then remorseful then, again. Then and you're trip not remorseful. You're a con artist. Yeah. So goodbye. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Best apologies, change the behavior, everybody. Cheat once, shame on you. Cheat, Cheat twice, once, shame on I must have me. not my hair. Okay. So, All yeah. right. That is it for our girl talk this morning. Mm -hmm. um, coming up. <clears throat> That's it for girl talk.